guys, welcome back. And for those of you that are new, welcome. My channel is Mystic Moon Magic, where we talk about everything spiritual, spooky, metaphysical, paranormal, and law of attraction. So today's video is gonna be another Halloween haul, which I think is gonna be my last haul. Um, I have completely <laughs> exhausted all my funds. Well, if you can't hear it, my wallet has been crying. Um, so it's time for me to just be done. And I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm very happy actually with the finds that I have been able to uh, find because there's a lot of things that I was literally looking for that I did find. So I'm happy about that. And I think I'm just complete at this point. I'm content. There was just one, one thing, just one thing that I really, really wanted and I've been, I was searching high and low for it and unfortunately I wasn't able to find it, but I did find something similar and I will show you what it is. But um, also I wanted to point out that, um, you know, on my giveaways that I was doing, it was to reach a certain amount of subscribers. And unfortunately, I have to stop the giveaway. There will be just probably just one more because the other one hasn't reached. It was supposed to reach the, um, if you saw my last video, it's on there to reach 100 subscribers. I'm at 81. Um, I was gonna give away the Lazy Bones um, uh, Ray Dunn mug. I haven't reached that, so maybe today I will give another one away. I'm not sure yet, um, but unfortunately, all my mugs that I was going to give away are either going to go up for sale or I'm going to return them because I, I had duplicates of some, so I don't need them. But um, maybe next year or something like that, um, we'll do it again. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's gonna be a big haul, so let's not waste any time. Let's just get started and let's get into it. I'm not gonna do this in any particular order this time, so it's just gonna be uh, one for all, so just bear with me, okay? Everything's kind of spread out everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to just kind of give you the prices and the place where I did get them. I kind of have it a little bit organized, but not really, um, so let's just jump into it. All right, let's go. All right, so my first haul is going to be Target. Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye Playground, whatever you want to call it now, killed it this year. They literally, I was able to find a lot of the stuff that I was looking for, which I'm very happy. And their prices for the stuff that was very good quality was off the charts. So let's start with one of the things that I did find and it was all, this is perfect for my tear tray. So they, they were all the little potion bottles. Let me grab them. So these are two of them. This one's the Eye of Newt um, and it has the little eyeballs inside if you can see that. Um, this one is Ghost Breath and it has a little ghost in there. Uh, this one is bat wings with little bats. Uh, this one's dragon essence, just kind of a glittery type green. Uh, I don't know what that is. And then the similar one to that was a haunted house dust, which was orange. And then they have the full moon magic and it has glitter like stars and moons in there. And these were all a dollar a piece. So I was able to find those. There's six of them total right here. Perfect. And then I was able to find this cute little thing and it was uh, a little tear tray, potions, brews, and curses, little book uh, stacks. Or a stack of books and that was cute I was also um, able to find and sorry but you can probably see uh, I don't know if you can see it because of the ring light but um, these potion bottles that were also a dollar a piece and they have three different kind 
and um, they were a dollar a piece. Did I say that already? Um, they were a dollar a piece, but I'm I'm soaking them right now, so I couldn't bring them all in right now. But I'm gonna make my own potion bottles, and I'm soaking them so I can take the label off. Um, so I was able to find all three of these. Um, this one, I believe this one, this one was actually three dollars, and it lights up. You won't be able to see it, sorry. Um, but this one's nice too. And as I mentioned before, I'm doing an apothecary scene on my hutch. I haven't been able to get to it yet. If you wanna see the video of me putting that together, I'm also gonna be making my own apothecary bottles with these. Um, let me know down below and I will uh, show a video of how I decorated that and how I made my bottles. Um, so this is one of them from Target. At Target, I also picked up um, like a million of these, which I love because I they're just awesome for three dollars. I mean, you can't you can't beat that. Um, they light up. It's like a flickering. Why can't I get this? Oh, and they're just. I mean, they're just spooky. They. They're perfect uh, for my Dracula uh, theme that I have going on in the living room. So I have these throughout. So I picked up a whole bunch of these. They come in a different size, one smaller as well. So I got these. These are all from Target Dollar Spot, okay? I also found this little, uh, what is this? I forgot the name of this. Um, it's like a chemistry. I don't know. It'll come to me. Can't think of it right now. But I, I was able to find two of these, and these are going to go in the apothecary as well. And these were three dollars a piece. I was able to pick up these little risers. Um. You can use these for a lot of things. I'm gonna use them for some lanterns that I have, and I'm gonna put the lanterns up on here. Um, you can use them for, oh my God, everything's falling. <laughs> um, you can use them for candles, uh, a lot of things, um, just as risers if you wanna put, you know, a mug. Look at how cute this is. I haven't showed it to you, but like that. See how adorable that is? But they're bats. So I was able to, um, I picked up two of these. And then now that I've just showed you, I got the two mini mugs and they're from the, I'm sorry, let me let me tell you the, I, I'm not sure if I told you the price on this because it fell off. So I think those were $3. Yeah. So they were $3 for those. And then I picked up from their line, the Hide and Eek. I was able to pick up the two mini mugs, the ghost and the jack-o'-lantern. And these were $3 a piece as well. So if you see, you know, this also, see how the little riser can work. So you can, like I said, you can use this for many things. Um, so I picked up those and then I picked up their little lighted jack-o'-lantern with the stripes. I thought this was so cute. It's a good light that comes through too. And these were $3 as well. They did have another one that was like a, a black, it was all white with black stripes. I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't able to find that one, um, but that one was really cute. And um, yeah, so pick that one up. I also picked up another pumpkin from the dollar spot and this one lights up as well. Oh, I have to hold it. And it says boo. And let me show you what it looks like. Lit up. And I 
it's just adorable and i love the colors it's so traditional like halloween and it goes perfect on my coffee bar if you haven't checked out my instagram i have a picture of it on there where it's all just black white and orange and that's where i have this displayed um now we're gonna move into where it's just kind of uh let's just move on to walmart actually walmart is probably the next closest one where it's a little bit more organized so let's move on to walmart and what i picked up there couple of things not too much but not too much decor per se but i did find jewelry which as you can see i found these this is one of the pieces that i found and it's Hold on, let me get closer it's jack skellington and let me show you the other pieces that i was able to find one one is actually from target so um this one is actually from target and it's a little glittery ghost a boo and some pink bats Ooh, look at that Ooh. <laughs> so that's from target and these i think this was these were six dollars um now these are from walmart and they were five dollars a piece and it's a lot of the disney characters so this is banks from Hocus Pocus, and you get the necklace and the earrings. I thought that was a good deal for two pieces. I found Mickey and the pumpkin, which I love. I'm so in love with these. So cute. And they have Minnie and the little witchy. Their theme this year um, for Disney is he's like a Dracula or a vampire and um, she is a witch in a witch costume. So that kind of reflects her. And then I was able to find another necklace, which is the Mickey and a mummy, wrapped as a mummy. And it's the necklace and the earrings as well. You can see that, so cute. And then I found these earrings, which I thought were super cute. They seem a little bit heavy, but these were actually only $4. And it's a little coffin. See that? So cute. So that's from Walmart. And then I picked up a uh, couple signs. Okay, so the first sign that I picked up at Walmart is this one not all witches live in Salem yes and as you uh, may know or may not know I have a signage wall in this room and I'm putting up a whole bunch of signs up there so this is where this is gonna go and it's gonna stay up permanently all year round not just for Halloween the second sign I picked up was this little countdown thought it was super cute i'm sorry i'm not even giving you the prices this was 444 for this one this one says when pumpkins are glowing and witches are seen only 31 days left until halloween super cute and this one was 534 like that along with that i picked up um i i'm a huge fan my my halloween movie it has to be halloween and their series um the whole series of halloween um there's a couple of them that i'm not a big fan of but you know um so i did pick up this and it's the halloween two and three in one uh dvd and I believe this was, it doesn't have a price. I want to say it was $7. Yeah, pretty sure. I think that's it from Walmart. Like I said, I didn't pick up a lot of their decor. 
this year um just a couple signs and the jewelry was mainly the thing that i picked up there which i love and um so we're gonna move on to amazon amazon of course my funko pops you already know i'm crazy over funko and especially our halloween line um, I haven't been able to find a lot of the ones that I've been looking for. Maybe they're not out yet. I'm not sure what's going on. Like Walgreens, found one at Walgreens. Um, but like last year, they had a whole line of them. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But I did find um, this one, which is the Haunted Mansion Maid. If you're familiar with Haunted Mansion, they greet you outside of the ride got that one and then I got um I'm sorry that's that's Walgreens and then I, I was saying Amazon and I thought I got them both at Amazon but I didn't so this is the one that I did get from Amazon and it's um Maleficent she just came out this year this is the new one that they just brought out if you don't already know I'm a Disney person so that's where those come in Spirit Halloween, I was only able to find one thing there. I don't know what's going on this year. So I went to two Spirit locations. They didn't have anything of what I was looking for. Their shelves were just like, I don't know if they were just not stocking them or they were selling out. But the guy, when I checked out, when I found the one thing and there was only one left, so I ended up picking it up because I don't know if I'm gonna find it anywhere. Um, he said that, okay, it was, it's a little weird because the first, the first Spirit Halloween that I went to, they didn't have anything. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This is the first one where I got the, the thing that I found. So I asked him, I said, what is going on with your shelves? Why isn't anything stopped? And he said, well, there was only two people like working. And he said, they don't, they can't find staffing um, to stock their shelves. They said they had dozens of boxes in the back, but they haven't been able to pull, put them out. Granted, it was a little bit early, like, uh, well, not early really for them. Um, they probably had been open already like two weeks. So I don't know. I went to the second location and I was not able to find anything that I was looking for there. And the one thing that I found one, but it was kind of all tweaked out and I didn't want to get it and spend that much money for it. And um, I wasn't really happy with it the way it looked, but they had none of their collections out like the Beetlejuice, the Hocus Pocus. Uh, I was looking for the Haunted Mansion stuff. Nothing was there. Maybe a couple of wine glasses that's it so again i asked the guy I said what's going on with the empty shelves we're selling out that's what he said so i don't know what the truth is that's going on with spirit halloween i may have to just go back and see if they restocked or they've done anything different but i'm very disappointed actually i mean their setup wasn't even set up like their whore the their whore <laughs> oh my god their whole um you know how they set up all the animatronics and stuff were either not even working or they were not even like set up and they built it up so much this year to where it was going to be an amazing setup and nothing is is there okay so besides my rant on spirit um let's let's just the one thing that i did get from there um, and like I said, this was the last one that they had and I snatched it because, um, I probably, if I didn't, I don't know, I, I probably would not have been able to find it again. And it is, da -da -da -da, the Haddonfield Herald, because this is my man. Yeah. Michael Myers. Marry me. Okay, so if everybody, everybody knows that this is, like I just said, Halloween, and this guy is my favorite um, killer <laughs> horror movie guy, and this is also going to go on my signage wall all year round because I just love this. Um, it's a great piece. Um, so this is what I was able to get at Spirit. 
disappointing as it is, but I was able to find the one thing that I really wanted. So that's good. So um, next up is gonna be either home, it's all gonna be combined, Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, wherever I found these, I'm gonna let you know. I'm sorry, and then the sign, um, I think was $19.99 for the Michael. Yeah, $19.99 for the Michael Myers sign. Okay, so the next one um, is gonna be, like I said, either TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or Marshalls, and I'll let you know where I got them and the prices. So first up, from Marshalls. I got these Raydon Sleep, Sleep, Sleep. <laughs> I got these Raydon sheets. Um, it's for king size. And what I really love about these is it fits up to a 17 inch deep mattress which I was just, I can't really find sheets like that are decorative for my mattress because it's so thick. I have a topper and then I have an extra pad on top, um, like a memory foam. So it's really, really thick. It's about 17, 17 inches. Um, so when I saw this, this was perfect and she couldn't have gone wrong by doing this. I mean, it's just perfect. And these were $24.99 for the King set. And like I said, I've never had any Halloween or decorative type of sheets on my bed because they're just not, you know, easy to find. So I was able to find these and I'm so happy I'm able to finally put spooky sheets on my bed. So a great find. And then I got, this is from Marshalls as well. And this was $19.99 and it is a spooky Halloween, I guess, plaid, buffalo check, whatever you want to call it, uh, robe. So this is how it looks. I don't know, you can't even tell really. But it's so comfy and it's so soft so when you get out of the shower it's it's perfect to throw on on those nice fall breezy cold days um so yeah got this and like i said this was at marshall's 19.99 oh my god it's so soft i also found this little spooky blanket because you can never have too many blankets right on those cold days when you just want to snuggle up and it's a Halloween um, little throw and it just says witches brew ghosts goblins happy Halloween everything spooky candy corn trick-or-treat little skulls jack-o-lanterns everything that you can think of that's Halloween it's on here but the best part, and this is actually only $16.99, but the best part that I love, because I do have another one like this, and a lot of their blankets don't have this, is the, uh, the Sherpa on the inside. You can see there. See how fuzzy and cozy it is? Usually they're just like a one, one, like one type of material, and it's just kind of like this, this material here. It doesn't have the Sherpa. On the inside which I love it's so cozy the one thing that I mentioned that I said that I was actually looking for that I didn't get um, was they had a canister like a cookie cookie canister or a cookie jar that was Mickey Mouse and I'll show you kind of what it looked like but this is what I did find um, it looked like this but it was it was bigger um, and this is a salt and pepper shaker and the, I was happy to find these, but, but hold, hold on. I was also able to score Jack in the cookie jar. So it was the Mickey like this 
in that, in that type of shape. So I'm very happy I found him and he has a suction. That's what he looks like on the inside. And look at the back. Tim Burns, a nightmare before Christmas. I love him. So I'm a big fan of um, nightmare before Christmas. If you if you can't tell, he's on here. My earrings. He's my favorite, actually. Um, one of my favorite movies from Disney for Halloween. And Haunted Mansion. Hocus Pocus, I love too, but this guy has me. Okay, so that, and he was, I found him at Home Goods for $19.99. So, Ray Don, guys, Ray Don. I, as you know, I did get lucky to find a lot of her items this year. Um, not everything, but, you know, I wasn't going to search because you know how crazy and chaotic it is. And uh, with the Dunners out there. But I'll show you what I did find, um, her mugs. So I, I was able to pick up this guy, the one with the topper, and I love him. Black cap, beware. And look at his little tail on the back. So cute. He was $9.99. I found him at Home Goods. So I was able to find him. And then um, I found this green potion. So pretty, that green. I have a toxic one just like it. And actually this one is from TJ Maxx. Haunted. And it has nothing in the back, it's just a straight, uh, black matte i love this i love just the white how plain it is the the white uh lettering with the black so pretty and these like you already know these are 5.99 and then i found another black one which is a happy haunting black on the inside as well but when you look at the back it has a haunted house Love that. And these were $5.99. There's, there's a funny story that actually goes with this mug when I found it. I beat some Ray Dunners that were there. Uh, they went, they ended up, let's just make a really quick short story. I got there and it was an opening. Uh, I wasn't there to hunt. Um, so I went there and I was just walking around, walked in slowly while they're running over to where the Halloween stuff and they know where they put out the mugs and stuff. So they actually ran over there. I was just walking, just browsing. And um, I happened to notice that they were coming and going through all the aisles, meaning they probably didn't find anything there. So they were kind of going through every single aisle where they where her normal stuff is uh, shelved at. And they were empty handed. So I'm thinking, okay, they didn't find anything. So I'm going through the aisles myself, just looking around, just like normal browsing. And then I happened to turn into this other section. Um, and I see it just by itself on the top shelf. And I'm like, oh my God. So I went over there and I looked and then it has a little thing in the back. So I'm like, this was the only one that was there. It seems like they just somebody just kind of just placed it there. And I think the clerks are now doing that where they're just placing stuff um, in different places. <laughs> um, and so I, you know, I was started to walk over to the register and there was one of the donors that was checking out right in front of me and I was carrying it, but I was carrying it kind of like this, like, you know, just like this. And you can see the house and you people know, right when they see this, you know, they know the mugs, they know the, the drawing of it. And she was just looking at me like, like, where the hell did you find that? She didn't say anything to me, but I can tell by her eyes, like her look was just like in shock, like, 
where the hell did you find that? We just went through the whole store, you know, but I was so happy because nobody likes those people. Anyway, I was able to score this and I'm happy about that. These little cute canisters with the Happy Halloween with the little pumpkin, which please with the little hat. What? Oh, I thought I was missing the end for a second. I couldn't see it there. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> it looked like it was missing the end because I couldn't see with the little. Okay, never mind. Anyway, um, this these were $19.99 at Home Goods. Also, I was able to find this little cauldron. Now, this is not a canister, okay? It's a candle. Oh, it smells good too. Oh, it smells a little um, like musky. What are the notes in here? Does it say? Oh, mold wine. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what it smells like. like I don't know if that's a good thing, but like I was gonna say when when you open your wine and it's a little rancid, like when you left it out for a couple days and it doesn't, but that's not a good smell. But anyway, it smells good. It kind of smells like that, but not really. I don't know what that means. But anyway, so when you burn out the candle, you can actually use it as a little canister. So clean it out and you got yourself a little, uh, cauldron so that was cute and that candle i don't know if i mentioned it 1999 oh okay so the one month that i was really looking for this year um was one that i can really relate to i when i first saw it i'm like i want that mug um but again i was not going to hunt for it and it just happened to come to me so that one is psychic and it's it has a huge that I love and then it has the purple on the inside love that and these this was $5.99 um, I found it actually already took it off but I found it actually at TJ Maxx with this one that they, they were both on the tank and I saw them sitting there so I went over and I picked them up now my big purchase well one of my big purchases in this haul yeah i think it's probably the biggest purchase in this haul um which i was pretty happy to find i wasn't sure if it was going to go with my vampire dracula theme but the more i thought about it the more i kind of made it to a spooky uh decor like the way I I you know displayed it made it look better um but it is and I can't believe I actually found them he was just standing there <laughs> and he's huge so it is a headless I don't is he a headless horseman I think so because he doesn't have a head obviously but he doesn't have his horse but it is huge um and I wasn't too sure and I found him at home goods and he was $39.99 yeah uh yeah but look at the detail on him it's gorgeous and like I said he's huge he's almost like what almost two feet tall um, but I didn't know this until I actually got him home. And his pumpkin, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? His pumpkin lights up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> his pumpkin lights up. And I was just, okay, at that point, I was just like, oh, okay. 
I really like him. I can make him work. And he's he's been working. Um, so this was one of my biggest purchases. At home, I just picked up a couple things. So I picked up two. Sorry, I thought I saw like a shadow, like a black shadow over here. Um, I picked up two of these. They were $7.99 each. And the reason why I picked up these is because if you're familiar with um, Johanna Parker, they're kind of along the same lines. Um, like, I don't know, Ray Dunn, Johanna Parker, and like Bethany Lowe. I collect a lot of Bethany Lowe, um, the little trick-or-treater children. <laughs> I know that sounds creepy, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you in a second. But I, when I display them, I want something that kind of goes in the background. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about because then this is not going to make, uh, you're not going to picture it and it's not going to make sense. Okay, so what I'm saying is I have these trick or treater children that I collect. And they're Beth and Lilo. And this is what they look like. So I have several of these. And when I display them, look at how cute. Look at her little stocking. She's a ghost. See that? I have a few of these. But I wanted it like this. See how cute that looks? You know, to make them seem like they're kind of outside trick-or-treating. She's holding her little lollipop. Oh, got the glitter. But this is one of them. Let me see what else I have in the box to show you. And they're made out of porcelain, so they're really fragile. Um, I have, oh, I have a little witch. Okay. This is a little witch girl with her little cauldron, trick-or-treating, pail, her broom. Look at the little spider. I don't know if you can see it. She has a little spider on her hat. And that's the back of her. Anyway, these are a collection from Bethany Lowe. And again, super cute. See how they go together. Um, so that's why I bought those trees. Okay, so another thing I got from at home is these wall plaques. Look at how cool these are. And I thought these would just go perfect in my Dracula setting. Um, and they do light up. Huh? Oh. And I like to incorporate a lot of the blacks and the reds and the silver. So this is gonna go very well there. So I picked up two of these. And I think that concludes my haul, guys. One more thing that I did forget, I just saw it right now. And um, it is from, again, from the Target Dollar Spot area. And these are very popular. They're very popular even in Christmas. I think they have like red and white and Easter. And now they have some for Halloween that are black. And it's their gumball machines, which are super cute. And these are only $3. And you could put anything you want in here. This little, it has a little suction. I haven't opened it yet, but you can put candy corn in here. You can put um eyeballs uh you can put regular gumballs um canned any other type of candy i'm gonna try to see if i can find like a, a like eyeballs or something like that or um maybe like a whole bunch of those little spiders that you can put in here for my apothecary um but these are already black you don't need to paint them 
um, and these are $3. So these are a very, very popular item at Target, if you don't know that. Um, so they're very hard to find, but my store had a ton of them. Like they had just, they must have just uh, restocked them. Um, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't, how can I forget it? I almost forgot. Okay, Michaels. Michaels, I did buy one thing from there that I just went exactly just for that one item because I saw it, I think I saw it like on a YouTube video or something and I was obsessed. I was literally just, I think I bought it online and I went to go pick it up because I couldn't wait. Um, it, you know, the way Halloween is this year, they're, like I, I've said it many times, um, it's stuff is selling out. So I had to buy it. I just had to buy it because it's one of the things that is actually going to be a permanent thing up in this room again. It's a sign. Well, it's a print. It's a canvas print. And it is so beautiful. I mean, it's everything that I, you picture in your mind of how, let me just show you. Okay, here it is. I, when I saw this, it's a canvas print, okay? And like I was saying, it's everything that you picture a witch would be, right? She's out there in the forest in the night with the moonlight and the stars doing her magic doing her thing oh my oh i just i couldn't i i i i there was no words i'm like oh my god i have to have that and it doesn't stop there you just <laughs> Look at that, it lights up. Oh my goodness, like that. Oh. And the tree, it was just, oh my God, oh my God. I, I mean, like I said, I, I just fell in love with this and it's gonna be one of my main pieces in this room because I just, I love it. I, I I'm, I'm really obsessed with this. It's such a beautiful print. And it's from Michaels again. Price was $34.99, but I got, it was on 20% off. So um, I got it for like $27.99, I believe. But look at that. Oh God, it's just gorgeous. That was the last piece that I wanted to share. And that should conclude my hauls. Um, I had so much fun uh, making these videos, these Halloween hauls. Um, but I'm, I'm done for the year. I don't need any more stuff. Uh, I have completely exhausted and I will be filing for bankruptcy soon now, but we still have fall and Christmas. If you guys are interested in seeing those videos, let me know down below. Um, I have gotten a couple things for fall. I just don't know what I have. Um, until I start taking out the stuff and that won't happen until November. I don't decorate for like fall and then take that down and then do uh, Halloween. I do straight Halloween and then November after Halloween is over, I do the autumn, fall, Thanksgiving, and then on Thanksgiving, uh, we do Christmas. So uh, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing the hauls for fall and Christmas. Um, like I said, leave it, leave it down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know. But also, um, I'm going to do start doing my regular content on this uh, channel. So the next video is going to be manifestation. So how you can manifest um, whatever you want and in your life. Um, so that'll be kind of like it's a manifestation slash law of attraction. Um, so if you are interested in seeing the apothecary decorate with my decorate with me or decorate my apothecary with me 
um, coming soon. Let me know because that's going to go up pretty pretty soon. So let me know if you're interested in me uh, recording that and uploading a video on that. Um, like I said, I'm also going to show how I did my own apothecary bottles from the Target bottles. And what else? Um, you know that mug? Uh, the Lazy Bones mug is still up when I reach 100 subscribers. And if, for some strange reason, if it does happen um, where I reach, uh, you know, another certain amount of subscribers, after I do that giveaway, I will announce the next um, mug giveaway. Uh, hopefully, it'll be still October. <laughs> by then so I, I'm able to give it away and you can use it or you can just save it for next year but I want to try to see if I can give it away by the end of October and once I give the lazy bones um one away after I reach 100 subscribers then I will announce the winner and then the next giveaway all right okay guys that's it and thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing sharing liking and commenting on my videos and we'll see you next time. Bye.